Hear that hum? That's the sound of an electric revolution taking shape. It started with the California Air Resources Board attempting to reach a 100% zero emission standard as they mandated a ban on the sale of new gas-powered engines across the state, taking full effect in 2035. As the state pushes to replace this with this. The electric vehicle, powered by a battery linked to an electric motor producing zero carbon emissions in California, is hoping that a combination of tax breaks and incentives will finally get drivers to take their foot off the gas pedal and plug in. I was ready to get rid of my gas car because I was spending over $400 a month in gas, plus a car payment, so I figured it was time to probably go electric. I was really, I was really nervous price-wise because the price tags on electric vehicles are very high uh, and my payment on this is pretty high compared to it's double what my last car was. The cost of going electric can be an issue for a full-time college student but Cade was able to take advantage of some state programs that helped ease the cost. I'm a $2,000 cash rebate in the state of California right now which I applied for and got and I already received my checks. He also avoided one of the great pitfalls of EV ownership, range anxiety. Oh. I'm not too worried about it, and if I have to take a long road trip where I don't think this range will cover me or I don't want to stop to charge, I'll take one of my parents' cars. They have gas cars. But he has found the availability and placement of charging stations an issue, as unlike gas stations, which are on every corner, charging centers are in odd places like shopping centers and parking lots. Even here at College of the Canyons, they're spread out across the campus, sometimes in hard-to-find locations, forcing drivers to use online resources or even leave their EVs at home. The state looks to address these problems as State Assemblywoman Pilar Shavio heads the Committee on Electric Vehicles, focusing on updating infrastructure, increasing the number of charging stations, and introducing electrified roads to address the growing needs of EV drivers. Because whether you like it or not, an electric future is coming. For Canyons News, I'm Jeff Lozick.